Tone. Shalom. Can you airbrush it so I don't have this big tit stain and I don't look so fat? I can try. I got, um, so listen, I got an incredible shirt for this episode and, um, uh, I'm too, it doesn't fit. Look at this thing. And that's like, that's like the Under Armour, that's like a tech shirt fabric. So just like the perfect summer vibe. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Okay. No, no. Antonio Conja, don't you come back with that shirt on your back. No. All right. Well, while Tone's BRBing, let me plug the Twitter feed at Show and Tell Pod 2. We, uh, we don't know the password, so we haven't been in the account in a while. We assume we have like a million followers. All, um, check all right. Out comments on the show, links, pics. Uh, all right. What do we got? No, don't be in that shirt, bro. Sir, you know what they say about great minds. No! <laughs> oh, Tone! What? <laughs> I'm fucking all dead. Right. I was like, I was like half considering going to Target to get the next size up, and now I'm all considering going to target to get the next size up now you have to dude oh my god bro dude that's so fucking funny out of literally i could picture the rack like there's what, like four or five different cool. different right, ones so of these can you, can you picture you know the dark blue one with like the orange stripes yeah i thought about that one bro but ultimately i got the pink one because i have a pair of blue shorts and I don't have, like, any shirts I can wear with them because all my other shirts are blue. So I thought, this guy this guy was perfect. But, like, I guess it wasn't perfect because uh, I've been in bear mode. I've been hibernate mode. I've, 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 well, I, you know, this is an audio podcast you can watch, so I don't have to explain to people that I've been uh, packing it on. Bro, that's so funny. Oh, my God. I can't believe oh, it. Also, I haven't dude, worn this shirt. Funny. I literally just picked it up. I was like, oh, that, that looks nice. It does look pretty nice. But speaking of shirt, su- shirts for surprises, I don't know if you noticed, but this was my surprise for you last episode. <laughs> Dude, I've had so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Shrek is love, bro. Shrek is love and Shrek is life. <laughs> yeah, Shrek both of those things at the exact same time dude so oh my god I'm, that's too fucking listen fun. there's there are layers to the shirt so i got that shirt you know fans of the pod know that i've been moving fans of my personal life know that the move has been complicated so i had to make an emergency trip up to michigan today well yesterday and i i just didn't bring quite enough clothes with me you know we're still unpacking down in ohio so i thought man i need i need just like one more shirt it's hot i'm gonna be up here a little longer than i thought so i hit the target and i wanted to hit the target to get a new shirt so i wouldn't be too sweaty and gross Mm -hmm. so that didn't work out um but the other reason is because the shirt that i have with me that i'm wearing right now yeah is gonna this is a little teaser it's gonna like contradict the hat that i brought to show and tell today okay you're so, gonna have, you're gonna um, have to explain because because really be isn't that shirt don't you have the matching hat for it i do have the match see that's right i wore this shirt and hat combo so i'm gonna be dangerous for a minute i'm on beach daily so Stay all dangerous. Good. i'm not going 30 miles so Stay this dangerous. this is um this, this branding is um a youtube slash social media channel called pitching ninja and you know it's like a baseball fan page that primarily you know plugs and promotes pitching and they do um they do like team branded merch drops so it's like Mm -hmm. this logo ninja logo in like all the different colorways for your favorite mlb teams so when they did the oakland days drop i was gonna say you had to cop the oakland the oakland colorway the oakland shirt and i got the oakland days trucker hat and I mean that that basically all the way tells you what hat I brought to show and tell today if this contradicts it. But um 
you know, we can we can probably ease into it. We got to do a little banter. I was gonna say intro. before we even get into it, we got to run the intro because I think, All right. dude, I'm still. That's so funny. I and, dude, I'm about while we're recording this episode, I'm gonna go to the Livonia Target and get the double XL. So, <laughs> like, by the time this episode is over, bro, we're gonna be in the matching pink polo. <laughs> We're gonna shout out to Con. Oh, dude, how is that? Uh, how is that, Dr. Pepper? It fucking rules. Pardon my language. It's the. Uh, oh my gosh! Of course, yeah, dude. You know, yeah, you know this show. <sighs> watch your language. Yeah, it's the, fam- it's the family audio podcast that you can watch, but only with an explicit audience. Yeah, and uh, it is children friendly, but children who don't understand language. So it's being approved. <laughs> yeah. Right. Pre-ling- pre-linguistic family friendly. If that doesn't say uh, it. Yeah, old... Oh, wait, you cut out. Oh, I, I said, this is funny. I have a whole murderer's row of, like, special beverages in the bag. I got the Fago Fire Pop. I got the Dr. Fago. I got uh, oh, the I Verners. Was... I got, like, the Michigan is one last time I'm loaded up with Michigan beverages. I might, I, I won't confirm or deny this, but I might have a few loose cans of Oberon slamming around in the trunk. Who knows? Yo, how many how many trips have you made back and forth? Okay, so count for me, because I literally can't. Um, on Friday, we drove down to Ohio in the morning. Friday afternoon, I drove back to Michigan. Saturday afternoon, we drove, we, we like drove the U-Haul. I mean, I was in my car, but we took the U-Haul back to Columbus. Um, yesterday, I drove back to Michigan. T- today, I will be driving back to Columbus. Holy shit. And How what? Many? That's five. But in what you said, it's right. three hours? Well, it's closer to four with a stop, basically. So... I've been in the car for 20 hours in the last five days. Nice. That's absolutely insane. You've almost spent a whole day driving. A lot of, a lot of time, a lot of time on the pod, pod, other pod, not our pod, other pods. Dude, I finally got back. I finally finished the episode of keeping records that I was on for like mo- weeks. You know what I found with that show? Hmm. It's a hard show to pause. It's it's like, there's no good like they don't take breaths. It's tough to like get back into it. I feel like yeah, especially with their like in the earlier episodes because I don't know if it's changed in the later ones. They do like that weird, almost like timeout where they like put in the like ethereal music and they're like oh yeah, where they like um, explain the item on the record. Yeah, and it's like. That's good when it's in the moment, but like this past time when I came back to it, I was paused right into it, and I'm like, oh, "This is tough. Fuck. that's tough." Yeah, I was like, "This well, is dumb." I I like that segment conceptually, but depending on like the environment that I'm listening to the podcast, it's like really really hard to hear. Yeah, and like for some reason. It really like pisses me off, and I, I've like deleted episodes and not finished them because I'm like I can't I can't fucking hear you, Caleb. I don't care what you're saying, which is like not nice. I mean, but, I feel know, like it's, it's fair. It's fair. I feel like he would agree. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> care. He got out of me. What does he care? He's chilling. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't live. He doesn't. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna st- we're gonna run the intro so we can get into the goods. Get into. The, I got my stack just right here, chilling. I'm I'm ready. Good, let's do it. Run it, man. You know what it is? I have to change the routing. Anyways, doesn't matter. Not important right now. What is important? Would you like to lead us in? What could more? What could be more important? Than- what? Then you want me to do what now? I was gonna say lead us in, but anyways, I'm already right here. I'm a, I'm gonna lead us in. So, <laughs> listeners of the pod that you can watch, if you've been following along, um, 
you know, I feel like we have a lot of things that we're excited about, a lot of common threads, uh, movies, yeah. video games, um, beverages. beverages, you know, a lot of things that we relate on. That The fact Wild that Shrek Bay. is love. In Chicago. Yes, the, the uh, tragedy. That is, uh, well, I mean, now we have toilets. Like, I I mean, when we first moved here two years ago, we had to poop in the tub and we had to waffle stomp it. Uh, but now, yeah, what? <laughs> what? I said you, bro. <laughs> um, but one thing that is a little sleeper that we were both so excited about when we made the list of topics was hats. Yeah. And I think it's almost poetic that our episode right before our season finale would be hats. Yeah, and, you know, especially the way that, like, modern television has been. This episode of a season bigger deal than the season finale so i just want to add i want to like affirm what you just said about how crazy it is that we got hats that's like our kind of secret unexpected affinity you know because like yeah of course two dorks are going to talk about like marvel shows and video games and like you know like nerd rap music. but, but like who really hats no one saw that, no one saw that coming exactly and you know i feel like um I mean, there's a lot of things that we like see eye to eye on, but the the deep appreciation that you hold for hats is something. It's an unspoken bond that we have that tethers us, and is really, if you think about yes. it, the basis of this whole podcast. <laughs> I really, really think that like hats was one of the first ideas that we had for like a good show and tell topic so yeah i i would agree with that and i mean i don't know la la the last thing i want to say about it in general you know i just moved and i collect i collect two things i collect records and i collect hats and i didn't get a hernia lifting my hat collection so i'm feeling really really good about hats right now <laughs> dude so i um I used to collect hats um, when I was, I remember like the hat that got me into it. Um, I was, so I still have it. Um, I think it's underneath my bed. Actually, I should have brought that to show and tell. Next time we do it, I'll, I'll bring that to, to show and tell. Yeah, we'll roll. Oh yeah. Well, good. I mean, we'll definitely have to. Um, but so it was, um, it was just like a little, it was a free hat that I got from the liquor store. And my uncle gave it to me. He's like, here, you want it? And I was like, oh, cool. Put it on. And literally from that day, I was just like, I'm a hat guy now. And it's funny, like looking back at uh, like pictures of me as a baby, I always had a hat on. So like, no. I guess I've always been a hat person. Mm -hmm. Um, but it wasn't until high school that I like really found my affinity for hats. I used to go, I used to get a hat from every, uh, brewery that I would go to no matter what. Oh, that's cool. It was so, uh, actually I don't have a lot of them anymore. I gave them to my brothers cause I wouldn't even wear them. I would like. I would just have them just to have them. Because I had, like, a couple that were really cool that I would wear all the time. And then I'm like, fuck, I just, like, it, there was a point where I had, like, 60 hats and I wore three. I was like, this is getting out of hand. Oh, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's a, we would call that, like, a blossom collection, I would say. Oh, okay, so where's your collection at? All right, so I have, uh, I downsized when i because i think i got like okay so when i was a kid i had a um i had a favorite hat when i was a kid and it was a hot wheels hat and it just had like rad cars with like flames coming out of the tie i mean you know you know the hot, hot wheels, wheels shit. 
The ho- I'll find a picture because I wore that hat on a prominent vacation when I was nine years old. We went to Toronto. Um, and there's like a picture of me in my like little Catholic school windbreaker and my, my Hot Wheels hat up in the CN Tower on the glass floor. And uh, Hot Wheels Summer. At- we're going we're gonna to splice that. Yeah, exactly. I saw Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you and Drake were having uh, your Hot Wheels summer. It'd be like yeah, that. <laughs> I I didn't hear you say that the first time. Hot Wheels summer, dude. That's funny. <laughs> you, you know, hot girls had their time. I think the resurgence of hot Hot Wheels summer yeah, might be coming. Summer, so hot girl summer could run. That might uh, that might be next next summer because you know. <laughs> I'm gonna. Don't worry. Okay, you you keep telling me about your t- your your hat hot and walk so that hot girl summer could run. So I I loved that hat when I was little, and then I kind of fell out of hats. I know, like through elementary school, and middle school, my parents got me a hat from it was like it was like a merch item at the Broadway musical Rent. My parents went to see Rent during its original run, and they got me a hat. Uh, and it was just like a black dad hat with like the logo on it. I had a Star Wars, I had like a Darth Vader dad hat. Um, but then like in high school, I kind of fell out of hats. I felt like when I was in high school, I was like kind of a hater of anything, even sports related. Yeah. And I just associated like. You were a theater kid. Sport. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's theater kid, speech kid, nerd, loser kid, whatever. Um, you were in speech club? Yeah, I did speech and debate big that's, time. That's what's up. I always, I always wish I did that because I feel like I would have killed it. But you would have killed it, man. You'd be, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> but anyways, so you, so you were anti. So I was not high school. I was anti hat in high school. Um, and then when I was in college, you know, hipsters had kind of gotten into trucker hats in like 2010, 2011. So I had a couple trucker hats. Um, I had a hat from the band off that uh anthony Kiedis of the red hot chili peppers wears on stage all the time so that's cool and then i had i had a hat that was from a cassette a music label that only sold cassette tapes and it was it was the hat said master tape inspector that's that's fucking tight that is that sounds sweet in summer 2011 i got my first um athletic hat which was like a, a fitted? Columbus... No, it wasn't fitted. It was a flex fit, which I prefer. I was going to um, say, we, I know we've gone over this, but you're more of a a flex flex fit, yeah. not a fitted kind my, of guy. Well, my original dive into hats, I was the big fitted guy, but now I'm like, I'm like into the flex fit. I don't like, I don't know. My head, the shape of my head changed or something. I just, I don't feel good in a flex fit anymore or a fitted. I'm like between sizes. But, um, yeah, and then, um, so you said your you know, first I, was a cr- uh, cruise hat, yeah, Columbus crew fitted, you know, and i I wore that, I wore that hat into the dirt, it was black, and I'd worn it so much before I retired it that it was like it like had turned gray from like salt stains, oh. like you know how I sweat, I mean, well, <laughs> well that's funny that you say that because my um. Oh, fuck. What was it? It was my 18th birthday. It was my 18th birthday because I remember uh, me and Renee were not together, 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 but we were like, you know, kind of together. And uh, she asked me, she's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I remember her, me, her, and my buddy Kiernan, we all went to Great Lakes Crossing, and all I wanted to do for my 18th birthday was buy a scratch off ticket and buy a hat <laughs> and i got this like it was such a it was so it was such a fuck scratch off ticket fucking lost whatever i think i bought like a 2 dollar ticket who cares but it was such a cool uh u of m hat because i i must have decided i must have locked it yeah cuz it was july so i had locked into u of m by june um nice. so it was like a white kind of canvas hat and it had okay. like a blue and gold m on the front and it had a blue 
um, sort of dad dad hat bill, and it was like a cinch. It wasn't like one of those like uh, ones that had like a buckle where you could. It kind of was. It was more of like a nylon hat, but so it had a. You're and it about. had a buckle so it what like i could pop it off if i wanted to just like take it off real quick and i wore that hat fucking everywhere for months that shit was like no longer white it was disgusting mm-hmm. and i remember the day where i was like i literally i can't wear this anymore like it grosses yeah. me out to even put it on my head but i didn't throw it away it's got to be it's got to be somewhere um, I think I ripped the hat while I was moving with sweat. I'm gonna try to wash it, but you know, I um, do you wash your like hat? A... Do you wash your hats very often? No, almost never. But I mean, Same. I also like. I don't. I usually won't wear hats that I like in you know in a situation where they're gonna get too dirty. Mm-hmm. You know, but like I don't know. I don't love the hat that. I wore anymore but as soon as I saw that it was potentially ruined I was like shit (laughs) see I I mean I have changed my my view on my hats I think well now living in Chicago I only wear Detroit hats I only wear the Detroit D yeah it feels like a little piece of home Um, so I I really like I strictly rep them, and I feel like my hats have gone less from, you know, like when I first started wearing them, it was any hat I could get my hand on. First, I was just getting any free hat, and I was just throwing that shit on. Loved them. Then I was collecting yeah. them, go getting them from anywhere, any gift shop, any brewery, any place I went, I would look and see if they had a cool hat cop it even some that weren't cool i was just like yeah fuck it um and then in college i was big in making my own hats which i remember i thought about i didn't want i was gonna bring the tone time hat but i didn't want to be too much of a kiss ass (laughs) i love it i love uh i love that uh because i think no i think you're the only one who has one of those yeah because I think I only made, like, no, I think my cousin, t- I think my brother-in-law, I don't know. There's, like, there's r- there's only, like, five that were made, and I think I have two in my closet still. Or maybe I gave you the last one. Um, but it's, I, I love that so much. That's so funny that you have that. I deserve it. <laughs> you definitely deserve it. Um... So uh can I can I show what I brought to show and tell? Yeah, I wish I wish you would, man. All right. So since moving to Chicago and I only wear my um my Detroit hats, I have you know, I mean, I'm a big snap snapback guy. I almost strictly wear snapbacks. Um I like the feel and um but it's hard to it's hard to get a good snapback, so I got these two off of Amazon. Nice, good for any occasion, you know. Black, that little green oh, yeah. bit, not bad. I like the I like, I like the green underbill. I think that's like a very classic style, especially on a snapback. I love the the undercolor uh, on a on a bill. I think that's so so tight. I think that's like an important style aspect of the hat, you know? Yeah. And so this next hat is one that I have been trying to find for so fucking long. Like, okay, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, I'm going to show it to you and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, like, that's cool. It's, it's a very simple hat, but it's so, like, you would not believe... How hard it is to find navy blue trucker snapback Detroit hat. Like love it, and I love, I love the big. I love when they do the old English D big and in white. 
Yes. That and this is what that, I wanted. Like, because, classic, crisp. Because, you know, like I really like the look of like a fitted or like a baseball hat. Like the ones that are, you know, cuz like a fit, uh a trucker kind of has like more shape to the top whereas I feel like a baseball hat, baseball hat like I have one over there is just like <laughs> Yeah, floppy, no structure up top. But this Well, I don't I, I disagree with that. I think those those are real firm. The you know the no, fabric no. is real firm. not not so not those. Let me actually let me go get it so I can All right. Well I'm gonna once again take this opportunity to plug the Twitter feed at show and tell pod two. It's all one word, all lowercase, show and tell pod two. Find us on Twitter at show and tell pod too so like these ones like the oh like dad hats yeah so like this has no structure yeah but i really like these ones too these are more um i don't know but i really love well, the, truckers the, the, I, I i like the shape of the fitted but like sometimes a fit like the, they they don't breathe well so if it's like too hot i can't wear a fitted hat that's why I like the trucker because you get that nice bed. cross breeze yep. and you know, you wear it up front, you get no breeze. But if you want to get that little ooh, yes. feel that wind in your head, hair on the forehead, that's that shit. I love that. Open. That's like open house, right? <laughs> um, and then my my newest hat. This is the one I was excited to show you. I think we're gonna have to do another, uh, like another call after this, to add okay. on to this because I because we're at thirty four, and I uh, I don't want to rush you talking about your hat. Dude, I really appreciate that. Of course, dude. This is this is what but, we but, were. We're gonna run time right when I get to Target to exchange this shirt. <laughs> Perfect. Care, but that's all right. Perfect. We'll do a post. We'll do a post target uh, part two of this. So, Love it. all right, keep going. Real quick, my um, my newest hat. Um, me and Renee are going. Me and Renee are going to Mexico with my sister and brother in law oh. at the end of at the end of June. Oh. Um, and this is like our first vacation. Like real vacation. That's not like yeah, a like a weekend trip or whatever. So I'm fucking excited. I've never been to Mexico. I've never done a resort. Where in Mexico are you going to? Um, Cancun. Uh, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna be like, where are you going? And then you said resort, and I'm like, oh, they're going to Cancun. <laughs> yeah, I like. My sister was like, oh yeah, we, I, I we could do this, this, this. I'm like, look, you've been, you know what's up, you plan it. I'll give you yeah. my card and that's it. Right. So I'm super excited. You know, I I had to go to Target myself, get dripped out for the um, <laughs> for it. Go. But I wanted to get a little hat action for God. for uh oh my god, there's too many things going on. So I got this like <laughs> Sun hat, dog, and I'm so excited. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> I had like a straw, like a like a straw hat like that, and um, I wore it doing yard work a couple weeks ago, and a tick got in it, and then I wore it over to my aunt's house, and the, the babies were there, and one of the toddlers was wearing the hat, and he discovered the tick, and everybody was like, "Oh my God, there's a tick on one of these kids." And it just ruined the hat for me. I threw it away. Oh, no. That's awful. And no ticks. We're just, everybody's fine. No one got Lyme disease. It's all good. But oh, uh, God. I'm really jealous to have that awesome sun hat. But <laughs> just like, I don't fear of, I'm jealous. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I kind of, I, I'm also keeping my, uh, my eyes open for, um, like a straw hat in Mexico. I think that 
that's going to be my souvenir if I can find. Well, a... you know, you already know that if you're like anywhere in Cancun, Mexico, you'll be like you'll be like five minutes away from like a hundred different like kitschy tourist junk stores. Like you could get. I here's what I want you to get while you're there. I want you to get me a uh, bucket hat that says Cancun on the front with like fish. Can do. Can do in Cancun. Can we can we admire an oddity that I'm seeing in the Livonia Target parking lot? Let me see. Let's try to let's try to try to diagnose what happened here. Oh my god. Someone is crocs. Those are crocs and those are crocs and socks, bro. Yo, there's socks in them? No fucking way. Ew. <laughs> what do you think happened? Are they okay? I think they got uh they got raptured. Like uh what is it? I was it? gonna say, is this like fucking left behind, but only one guy in a pair of crocs? I wear crocs, why am I still here? <laughs> are you wearing your crocs now with socks? No, man, I'm wearing my Tevas, bro. I'm the father. Oh, God. The Tevas. <laughs> The Tevas in the the Tevas in the bucket hat, what a combo, dude! Uh, the Cancun de- bucket hat. Listen, you were talking about um, your U of M hat. Can I can I interrupt your showing and telling to tell you about um, a recent acquisition that for me completed a collection within my collection? Of course. So you know how U of M Dearborn like real u of m doesn't give a shit about u of m dearborn yes and that there's like no there's like a shirt that has dearborn written on it in crayon and then everything else is just u of m yeah merch. so i found i had to go on ebay to find this so i have a collection of dad hats from every school i ever worked at excuse me oh that's very Except sick u of m dearborn because i did not i did not want a u of m hat i wanted a u of m dearborn hat and i went i was looking online one day and I found, how cool is this? It's a dad hat. It's navy blue. And it's a promotional giveaway from uh, the Detroit Tigers on college night. And they made a bunch of branded Tigers hats for all of the regional campuses in Metro Detroit. So it's got, it's, it's, it's navy blue. It's got a yellow Old English D on the front. And then on the side, it's got... it has the block M, and under it, it says Dearborn. Yo. Yeah, it rips. And I got it on eBay for some dude in, like, Dearborn Heights for, like, $4. That's a steal, dude. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I have a dad hat from every school I ever worked at, and I'm, I'm pumped. Those are going to go on display in my new office. I'll wear them. You know, I wear I wear my, my school hats. But wear your hats. That's good. That's going to be like on the top shelf of my office. I'm, I was so pumped to find that. It's so sick. Dude, that's sweet. I'm going to die. Honestly, that sounds fucking cool. I might look for one yeah, too. Yeah, dig it. I'll, I'll, send you, I'll send you a pic of it. Yeah, send uh, me a pic. That, that sounds sick. Okay, let's end this and uh, call me. Let, just shoot me a text when you're good after um, after Target. You don't, and, want do, you don't want to do a Patreon episode in the Target. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure you have. Absolutely not. I I would just start screaming slurs. <laughs> Get you kicked out of Target. <laughs> uh, we're at the Livonia Target. Oh. This guy's really shooting me some mean looks. What's your deal, buddy? In your dumb gingham shirt. Fuck you. <laughs> go uh go kick his ass in uh, your Tevas. <laughs> dude, I could kick his ass. He's driving a fucking Yeah, good thing you have a spoiler on that Dodge, you dipshit. <laughs> Okay. I'll uh All right. Five. All right. Peace.